Hello, a quick little video to explain a little bit more about uh, the food shopping cards uh, that the children got at Transform Kids session. So um, a great little tool and uh, you'll see uh, one, two, three, four, four columns on that a food shopping card and it's going to help you uh, read the food label so it's it's um, it's already summarized from uh, the range of um, fats and sugars levels that you should have so the hard work has been done and uh, they've created that little uh, food shopping card so what you need to do is when you take a food label on a product, you go one by one, um, looking at the 100 gram column, you go one by one, okay, let's have a look at how much sugar there is, a uh, sugar content there is in that product. So you check it out and you'll see uh, which range, so how many grams on the food label uh, it has of sugar so if it has over 15 grams it will be in the reds if it has between 5 and uh, 15 grams it will be in the amber or if it has uh, 5 grams and below it will be in the greens so this is how you go one by one uh, sh you check the sugar levels the fat level the saturated fats and uh, the salt level so the three main ones sugar, fat and salt to check. Then you'll have uh, results, so how many uh, greens and how many amber or red and the majority, so when you, for example, let's say you have uh, the sugar levels are uh, green, the, the fat levels are amber and the salt levels are green, so it's a majority of greens, so we're good to keep that item, it's a good item. For another example, if we have uh, sugar levels are in the reds, uh, fat levels are in the red and salt levels are in amber so it's a majority of red so we don't want to consume that um, uh, item, we put it back on the shelf or we get rid of it. So I hope uh, this little tool will help. I've given some homework for the children to do, to use on two items and write on in their little notebook uh, the results. And if you have any questions, just get in touch. Until then, see you Saturday. Bye.